hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new i'm stella if you're a subscriber thank you so much for coming back i really appreciate your love and your support for my channel if you haven't subscribed yet hope you love this video so much that you subscribe and yeah so i have done a couple of clinicals and now i'm almost done with nursing school by god's grace can i say an amen yes i'm almost done with, um, with clinicals and nursing school so i'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my clinical faves some things that have really helped me doing clinicals so yeah if this is something you're interested in then keep watching first thing on my list is a good backpack i don't have a particular backpack to say this is a superior this don't get this one just get a backpack that works for you a big enough backpack that a lot of things can fit in it so this backpack has been working for me my friend gifted me this backpack i've used a couple of them these like different african print backpacks this one it has like the zipper and everything and it pretty much fits my laptop my book and everything i need for clinical so getting a good backpack is good with like a zipper in it because you know you keep your backpack in the break room and the other backpacks i'm not saying i'm going to steal your stuff but you know prevention is always better than cure so number one on the list is getting a good backpack number two is a clipboard something like this this fits in the pocket of my scrub like that's all of course you can expand it i still have papers in it but this is what it looks like when i started clinicals i had like this big clipboard that you could open and store papers in there there's not enough space in the nursing station for your big clipboard so a small clipboard just helps you saves the hassle just put it in your pocket and you're good to go so this clipboard is my second fave i'm gonna leave the link like i said to I don't know if i said this already but i'm going to leave the link to most of these items i'm going to mention in this video in the description box so make sure to check it out number three is tea cup water cup and a water bottle so this can save my hot tea or warm tea for like 12 hours and it's the brand simple mode i'll leave the link so it helps keep my tea I no longer drink coffee i'm a tea girl so this is my tea cup and then this is my water cup it keeps ice for a really long time and this is like how many ounces i do not know but this is definitely 24 ounces and i recommend getting getting this straw cover because everybody keeps their drink or water in a designated drink drinks area and someone might be reaching over to get their cup water bottle whatever and then if your straw doesn't have a cover your sleeve might touch your straw and yeah that's not sanitary and that's not yeah that's just not nice so a straw cover is also a plus so that's number three number four is a good stethoscope you don't need to get a cardiology stethoscope you just need to get a good stethoscope that you can hear like you know long sounds and all of that bowel movement i mean bowel sounds long sounds and all of that i got this simple stethoscope that does an amazing job i've been using it like for the whole program uh it's a litman litman what 3m so yeah a good stethoscope you don't need to break the bank you're not a cardiologist you just I don't want to say you're just a nurse but you're not a cardiologist you don't need a cardiologist at this school so this works just fine for me so this is number four number five is some good shoes opinions about shoes when it comes to clinicals because something works for people or some doesn't work for the others well for me i use this clothes white shoes and this nike black shoes both shoes if anything spills on it i can wipe them let me put them down because it's just in my face but yeah so the, my clinical program if you have a white undershirt you need to put on white shoes that's why i have the white clothes and if you have a black undershirt you need to put on like black shoes so that's why i have the black nikes those work fine for me i see a lot of nurses wearing these hooker shoes i think it's a good shoe i don't have one to give my opinion on it but for rate at which i see a lot of nurses wearing them then it must be some really good shoes i invest on those when i'm done with nursing school but yeah so some good shoes that have like good padding in it so because you're going to be standing for a long time especially if you're in the or or if you're just like busy throughout the day you don't want some shoes that's going to break your ankle i don't have like i don't know what to tell you which is the best but those two work for me i've been using them for a long time i'm gonna count but compression socks my dear people 
Like I said, you're gonna be standing, you're gonna be doing a lot of walking. So compression socks are lifesavers. I got these ones from Amazon. They come all the way almost to my knee, and I have really long legs. Just emphasizing that I have really long legs. So these compression socks do a great job. It's not like all that stretchy, but you know it does an amazing job. I want to finish nursing school with varicose veins, so just save yourself that stress and save yourself some money and get some compression socks oh my god i was gonna say compression but yeah compression socks my dear people get yourself one i'm forgetting something guys get the scissors i don't i can't remember who gave me the scissors but this scissors is so small there's some medications in the pixels that will not break just by doing this you need a scissors to actually cut them so this scissors just just fits on my on my student badge and it's it's easy to carry around i cannot forget it somewhere because it's literally on my chest so a scissors is a lifesaver you never know and your nurse is going to be so proud of you going to be like, oh my god is that a scissors i cannot tell you how many compliments i received on that scissors and asking me where did you get them nurse is like when you make your job easy so get yourself a scissors and make your nurse happy <laughs> or make your job or whatever easy last on the list guys is undershirt i get all my undershirts from amazon i have one right right now so this is my undershirt and amazon especially now this is like um winter period even in the summer they have them but it's like on sale i usually get mine in the summer like two dollars one dollar now it's like 9.99 or maybe 14 dollars it just depends on what type i get like the the thick ones when I'm going to the ICU or the OR, this is are really cold. I even have to put on leggings under my scrub, put on my compression socks, then put on long socks, put on my undershirt, then put on another shirt, another shirt, put on my scrub top, then put on a jacket. That's how cold it is. Shout out to all the OR and ICU nurses. You guys are doing an amazing job. So I don't know if I love those places, but the cold there is just unbearable to me. So apart from even being <coughs> Apart from it even being really cold, I don't like just wearing my bare scrubs and leaving my arms out like that in the hospital because a lot of things go on. People don't wash their hands. Maybe patients don't wash their hands. They can use the urine now and wash their hands and try to grab your hand and you just grab, grab your bare skin. There's a lot going on in the hospital. I don't have to tell you what's going on in the hospital for you to know that, you know, sometimes it's like mm, not everybody's hygiene is the same as yours. So I always have my undershirt. In the summer, you're going to catch me in an undershirt. In the winter, you're going to catch me in an undershirt. Undershirt, yeah, right. If I don't have an undershirt, then I have a jacket over my scrub. That's it for my clinical faves. Hope this video helps you. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. And if I don't have the direct link or of the exact thing, then I'm going to find something similar and leave the link. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it to your friends that are going to start nursing school or those that are already in nursing school that you think this video might be helpful to them. And I'll see you. Ooh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. If you're like a nursing student that already graduated, if you're a nurse and you're watching this video, comment in the, com in the comment section what other things you found useful during the program. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Are you kidding me? Do us! Yeah. Uh, yeah.